now we talk about finding the domain and the range from looking at a graph. Basically, if you think about the domain, that's your x values. The x values, or the x axis, runs from left to right. So you're going to ask, where does my graph extend left to right? The range is the y values, and so we're looking at where the graph extends vertically. So let's find the domain and range of each of these graphs below. Notice on this first problem, it extends horizontally from negative 3 to positive 3, including both of those values. So we will have the closed interval from negative 3 to positive 3. For the range, the y values extend from negative 4 to positive 4, and that becomes the range, the closed interval from negative 4 to positive 4. And remember when I mention a closed interval, that means I am including both endpoints and using those squared brackets. Our next graph looks like an upside down V. I notice that there are arrows at the end saying that this pattern continues downward and to the left and right. So as far as the domain is concerned, this goes to the left forever and goes to the right forever. So the domain is all real numbers. As far as the range, looking at the graph vertically, it extends downward forever, but it seems to have a maximum value of 3. And so the range will be from negative infinity up to 3, which is included. For this third graph, notice that there is an arrow going upward at the top left, and there's an open circle at this point 2 comma 3, which we need to take into consideration. Now the domain, those are the x values. It happens to go left forever because as this graph is going up, it's going to the left. So no problem on the left. It's going to extend to negative infinity. But on the right, it's going to go up to but not include the 2 because there's no point at 2 comma 3. And so that would be our domain. And for the range, we can see that there's a minimum value right around negative 1 and a half ish 1.3, whatever. So our range will have a minimum minimum value of negative 1.3 and go on up to positive infinity. This graph is just a collection of points and so if we're listing out the domain we can't list it as an interval. Instead we have to use set notation and we look at the different x values that are taken on by these points and so the domain will be the set containing negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 3. Likewise, the range is going to be just four y values that are assumed by this graph, and I'm going to put them in numerical order also, 0, 1, 2, and 3. This next graph is a rather interesting one. This is actually what's known as a step graph because it looks like a staircase. Notice we have solid dots and open circles on the ends, and let's look right here at negative 1. Negative 1 is part of the domain because the y value is always, was, sorry, the x value is always consistent here. At negative 1, it goes up to point 1, and it's not included here, and we don't have two x values at a time, and so the domain is going to be all x values which start at negative 4 and go up to 5 at the right but don't include the 5. The range, however, is not a interval. Instead, it's just going to consist of the three y values, negative 2, 1, and 3. This next graph extends left to right from negative 3 to positive 3, but we do not include the negative 3 because of the open circle above. So the domain will be negative 3 not included to positive 3, which is included. And the range goes from a minimum value of negative 4 up to a maximum value of 3, which it doesn't quite obtain. And so the range will be negative 4 to 3, inclusive of the left endpoint. Now, let's look at this in a different sort of way. The domain and the range can be thought of as sets of numbers, sets of input values and output values. And you can barely see it, but we have an x and a y there. And so the domain of this first graphing or mapping would be the values a, b, c, d, and e, whereas the range would be the y values 1, 
2, 3, 4, and 5. Notice that we do not write duplicates twice. In this next situation here, this next mapping, the domain would be 5, 10, 15, and 20. And the range would only contain the values 2 and 3.